updates on mask and vaccine card mandates in Illinois. This guide is created and supported by the Institute on Disability and Human Development, Chicagoland Disabled People of Color Coalition, and Personal Protective Equipment for People with Disabilities. We will also like to thank the interns in the DHD 400 Capstone class for helping us with getting messaging information and graphics together for the guide. To all who have shared our COVID-19 resources in the past, we thank you all for spreading the word about those resources. Those help many people seek the accurate info needed to get vaccinated, learn, bask, and vaccination card updates in Illinois, and more. While we are not officially out of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are getting closer to living in a world that is like the one we lived before COVID, thanks to lower death and infection rates. Today, we will share information on the new Illinois mask and vaccination card mandates, as well as tips on how to protect yourself from infection in public and places where you can get personal protective equipment and masks. Beginning on February 28th, Illinois residents are no longer required to wear a face covering, light mask, or show proof of COVID-19 vaccination in most places indoors. You may choose to go to your favorite restaurant, event, grocery store, etc. without wearing a mask or showing people your proof of COVID-19 vaccination. Note, check your local government for local mask and vaccine card mandates. Some places in Illinois and some local businesses in your area may still have mask and proof of vaccination requirements. There are some places where you will still need to wear your mask or other type of face covering in Illinois. Those places include public transportation, buses, ride share, and taxis, daycare centers, certain schools and colleges, hospitals and healthcare settings like doctor's office, dentists, specialty clinics, nursing homes, Congregate settings including prisons, shelters, or group homes. No matter where you are in the state, you must wear a mask when you get on the train, bus, or paratransit vehicle. This rule is in effect until April 18, 2022. It's a federal rule. The Federal Transit Administration, or FCA, may extend the end date if COVID-19 rates continue to remain the same or go higher. For more information about the Federal Public Transportation Mask Rule, visit www.transit.dot.gov slash transit mask up. Some places in your local area may still ask you to show proof of vaccination or a ne negative COVID-19 test. Check with the place you're going to in advance. We recommend that you have a copy of your test results or proof of vaccination just in case. You can keep a paper copy of the test results or vaccination proof on you at all times. Or you can also screenshot your information or access your results and vaccination proof from your medical chart app or website. You can show either one to staff in the place you're going to. 
regardless of the laws that make those optional, some may still feel the need to wear a mask. Some may feel more comfortable wearing a mask in public. Some may need to wear a mask to protect themselves from getting themselves sick or getting others sick. Some may still wear a mask to protect themselves from pollen. Regardless of reason, people should respect your choice to still wear a mask or face covering. You have a right to still wear a mask or face covering if you want to. If you need KN95 masks, gloves, hand sanitizers, and other types of personal protective equipment, here are some places you can go to get what you need. There is a federal program where the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, are working with pharmacies throughout the United States to provide free COVID-19 vaccines a KN95 mask to people who need them. Twelve groups of pharmacies and grocery stores in Illinois are part of that program. You may go to any of these pharmacies and grocery stores in Illinois to get free KN95 masks. Before you go to get masks, check with your local pharmacy or grocery store to see if they have any KN95 masks available. Another place you can get free KN95 masks is your local community health center where you go see a doctor or take care of other medical needs. Find your local health center at findahealthcenter.hrsa.gov If you live in Cook County, that includes within Chicago city limits, you can get masks, gloves, eye shields, and other personal protective equipment for yourself and your caregivers and your loved ones through PPE for PWD, Personal Protective Equipment for People with Disabilities, is a Chicago-based coalition providing personal protective equipment for people with disabilities, led by PWDs, and committed to disability justice. For more information about the coalition, or if you would like to get some PPE, contact any of the following persons. Laura Van Pembroke, Christian Bush, Hanan Alafi, and Gary Arnold. You may also visit the PPE for PWD Facebook and Twitter pages. The links to each account are for Facebook it's www.facebook.com slash PPE for PWD. For Twitter it's twitter.com slash PPE for PWD. Chicago Mask Project is another organization that provides masks to people with disabilities and caregivers who need PPE. Priority will be given to TGNCQ People of Color, NO, commute, NO Compromise and Disabled Folks, and healthcare workers who work with NO compromise and disable people in homes and health or healthcare settings 
and parents of young people. For more information or to sign up for Mask, visit bit.ly slash Mask Chicago. Also reach out to Roses Are Spread and Riotous Roots on Instagram for more information or questions. No matter where we are in the pandemic, we still encourage you to be as safe as possible when going out in public. Here are some tips that can help you and let us be safe from COVID-19. Wear a mask, bandana, or other face covering when going out in public. Wash and sanitize your hands often. Stay home if you're feeling sick. When you're inside, give yourself and others about six feet of distance whenever you can. Go to the doctor or emergency room if your sickness gets worse. Get your COVID-19 vaccine shots if you haven't already. The creators of this guide would like to thank you for your continued advocacy to make sure that disability community is safe and thriving during the big COVID-19 outbreak. We would like to thank you for your continued support. If you'd like to support our work through the